Okay, I'm just doing a quick guide on uh, basically, you know, anyone new to uh, Wheel of Time mod and uh, just how to get started. So, we'll start here. It's going to be very quick. Um, I'll probably end up putting up more uh, of these guides just so that there's, you know, a little bit more information because um, it can be quite a lot when you very first start. So, first of all, obviously, you want to connect to the game. Um, I'm just using CMUD, but any of the uh, clients that will use uh, Telnet will work. Um, <coughs> you can use something like Mudlet or uh, Tintin, um, ZMUD obviously, or CMUD. Um, if you need help with that, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I can point you in the direction of some clients. Um, so anyway, connect to that. <coughs> You'll get a screen like this. So obviously you just have to pick a name, so for this test we'll just do something like uh, Ethos, why not? Yeah, and I'll say, is this right? Obviously yes for yes, or if not, hit no and you'll be able to type in again. Um, now here's your passphrase, you have to enter this every time you log into a character. Um, for this example, I'm just going to go test passphrase, so feel free to steal it if you want. Um, I'll ask you to retype. And here you choose male or female. It doesn't really matter anymore. There used to be some malices on female characters in regards to strength and stuff. Um, it doesn't exist anymore. The main difference now is if you play a male uh, channeler, it's a lot different to a female channeler, obviously. Um, you have to deal with the taint and a lot of things like that. Uh, for example, though, we're just going to go with the recommended ones, which is go a male, human, from the two rivers. So here you can choose your races. Um, Ascension, I guess, are technically human. It's more it's more about what side you're on. Uh, so the three sides are Dark Side, Ascension, and Human. Um, dark Side is Trollocs, Fades, and Dreadlords. Uh, you have to start as a Trolloc and work your way up. So we'll go Human for now. Uh, recommend that you go Two Rivers, just because it's easier to get a Warrior from there. Warriors are the recommended starting. Um, it's just generally easier to play in a lot of ways. So obviously here you see how it says experienced players only, because um, going a male channeler means you'll be hunted by anyone if they find out that you're a channeler. Uh, so we'll go a warrior. Okay, now you'll be brought here, which is the uh, the circle of light. Um, this is where you start the game, it's also where you'll be brought if you ever happen to die. Uh, this guardian here will tell you a few of the things that could be helpful. So it says it's easiest to start. Game is a warrior from Borderlands, Kandor, Seldia, or Two Rivers. I generally find Two Rivers is the easiest. Um, the Borderlands, Kandor, and Seldia give decent stats, but they can take a long time to get. Uh, two Rivers generally will give you um, a 19-19 warrior really quickly. Um, which might not be your playstyle, but it is great to kind of learn the game on. Um, so the first things you want to do is tell the Guardian that you need a kit. So you just tell Guardian kit. And he'll give you uh, a bunch of items. Look at our inventory. See, there's a whole bunch there. So if we just wear all, it'll put everything on. Now, you see it says at the bottom there, you're already wielding a weapon. It's because it tried to equip our sword. But we've got a dagger equipped. So you look at our equipment. You see we've got that dagger there. Um, you can either remove the dagger and then wield the sword, but I usually just sheath. And you'll sheath the dagger in your belt. Um, and then you can wield your sword. You can also type wear all again if you want, and it'll put your pouch and everything. And you've just got your crowns and a lantern. So I generally just put all in my pouch, and then you'll have nothing in your inventory. Everything will just be equipped. Inventory is basically what you're holding in your hands. So everything else now is like worn on your body, which d makes you uh, not have as much weight. Um, other than that, we want to do color complete. I'm fairly sure the mud does this automatically now. Um, I know it does mostly for me, but it's probably not a bad idea just to do it anyway. Basically all that does is you'll get colored text for things, so like when you get hit, it'll be red, or when you hit someone, it'll be green, different things like that. Um, also you want to change your spam to one. What that does is instead of seeing like a lot, list of a lot of items, so if we look in the barrel, probably be able to see. Yep, see it says 39 strange fruit. 
Um, otherwise, it would just say a strange fruit 39 times down in the list, so you'd end up just filling up your screen with that. You definitely don't want that. Um, you can also type listen all. That'll make you listen to the chat channel and the narrate channel. Narrates, I generally don't find that useful when you're a new player. Um, chat is really good though. So, from here, you basically want to maybe get some fruit from the barrel, just so you've got some food. I'll just grab two. And then double check our inventory to make sure we've got everything. Yep. So now we want to go down from here. If you type look, uh, if you actually type look properly, I'll show you what's around. You can see here that it says down. Um, these are also really good too if you want to have a read. Some of them are a bit outdated. Um, but if you go look names, it'll tell you all about the name rules, um, help rules, look notice, look intro. Again, they'll tell you just different things about the mud. Um, but I'll let you look at them in your own time. So we want to go down. Alright, now from here, this is where you would go to enter the world if you've died or something before. Um, it'll let you, so if you look at the post, so it'll en let you go to all these different places. So at the beginning, you can go to Emmonsfield, Camelin, Amador, Carhine. Um, and you just do that with enter, weave, and then the name. But as we're a brand new player, um, we're going to want to go down t again to the uh, to the eye of the world, which is the best place kind of to start up. So go down again. And we'll see her at this newcomer's refuge. Which is here on the map. So... It was over here before because that's where I'd logged out. So we've entered the world from here. So this is where we are in the eye of the world. I haven't got a full map of this yet. Because um, I just hardly ever go north or south. Um, so from here, um, we're just going to go get to level 3 and see what our stats are. So if you just look at the moment, you go to score. And it'll tell you a bit about your character. See so your level 99, uh, 99, 9 experience required. Um, and your level 1. If you look at stats, it gives you just some information about your offense, your dodge, your parry. Um, once you get to level 3, you'll actually have statistics in here, which are strength, dex, will, that kind of thing. Um, but you don't see them to level 3, so... You basically try to get to level 3. If you get good stats, great. If not, then you can restart, which will put you down to level 1. Um, and you can basically try again, so... We'll just go down. Ah, so it's pitch black, so we'll get a torch from our pouch and if we hold the torch you see now that little circle has gone from a, a like an O to a star it means we can see so if we look we can see what's in here now um, so that's one of the things you have to be kind of aware of it can be dark um, generally in the eye of the world you're fairly safe so even if it is dark you're not really in any danger you can wait till daytime um, so if we go west west again West, so you can type W or you can actually type fully West. And then we'll go North, North, West 1. You'll get that OK message, it means you've got to wait a second. Um, that was put in like to stop botters and stuff, being able to get out of town easily. Uh, so we'll go West again. And normally what you're looking for is these. So these saplings or, or cute brown deer. Cute brown deer you can kill as well. Um, but they will try to run away from you once they get low, so it can be really annoying. Uh, saplings give great experience, and they, they don't move or attack you. They'll just basically sit there and let you hit them. So I'm going to change our mood to Brave. Um, that lowers your defense, but it does, uh, it does make your hit more often and harder. So, attacking things that can't fight back. Um, there's no reason not to, uh, be trying to hit as hard as you can. So we're going to kill the sapling. You can do just kill tree. Um, but there are other trees in this area that will fight you. Uh, like things like wilted trees. So if you try to fight, <laughs> if you try to do kill tree and you accidentally hit one of them, they will probably end up killing you. So basically we're just going to hit this guy. Um, what we'll actually do is remove our shield. And because we're now using a sword in both hands. 
that lets us hit a little bit harder. Well, hit a little bit more often. And it gives, gives you an increase to your offense. So, we'll just do this. I might just uh, pause it now and resume when I get to level 3. Essentially, you just want to do this. Run around this sort of little area here. These sort of six um, rooms in a, in a rectangle. Uh, and you should be able to find saplings. If there's a lot of people here and you can't find any, you can come over to these ones. And there's generally a few here as well. Um, I'll pause it for now and uh, I'll be back when I'm level 3. Okay, so you'll see here, uh, this is one of those rooms I was talking about, where there's wilted trees as well. Um, you don't want to attack them. They'll, they'll hurt you quite a lot at this low level. Um, <coughs> when there's a few of you together, if there's a couple, maybe two or three of you, you could uh, probably fight them okay. So we're just going to kill this sapling. Um, if you go to score, you'll see that level 2 now, and you need under a thousand experience to reach the next level. So this sapling should give us that. Um, maybe not, we might have to kill one more, but it shouldn't be too many more. Okay, so we killed our, um, our last sapling. Um, so if we look at our score now, you see that level 3, fantastic. Uh, if we go to our stats, uh, you see this will show up now. So uh, we started a perfectly fine character right off the bat, so that's gone well. Um, so you've got strength, intelligence, will, dexterity, con. Um, for a warrior, if you, you kind of want strength, dex, and con, they're kind of your main things. Um, just for, to start out with, you generally want a strength 19, a con 19. If you can get that, then you're doing well. Um, you can go abs with that, which is basically absorption. Uh, so you get lots of really bulky armor. Um, so you won't dodge many hits, but you'll, uh, all the hits you take, you'll reduce the damage. And because you've got such high constitution, you'll end up having a lot of health. So it takes quite a while for people to beat you down. Um, and obviously strength for a warrior, it's pretty standard in most games. Um, so we won't need to restat this character. Because um, we're already perfectly fine. Uh, if we did though, we'd just type restat. Um, it'd take us down to level 1. Um, and then we'd just kill saplings back up to level 3 again. And once that was done, uh, check our stats. If they were good, awesome. If not, whatever. Um, the reason people recommend Warriors to start is it's fairly easy to get Strength and Con to 19, especially from the two rivers. Um, other characters, say like Rogues or Hunters, you kind of need three or four stats to be good. Um, here's some other guy killing saplings, apparently. I'll just get out of his way and go back into town. So yeah, like other, other characters, like, like for Channel as an example, um, you need quite a lot of stats. Um, so for Channel is you need your will, have to be high, your dex. You basically need all your stats to be good. Um, so that's why it can take a lot longer, because you've got to you know, roll multiple times to try to eventually get the, the really good stats you're looking for. Um, or it makes it a bit easier when you're only looking for two out of, uh, out of the five. Um, so here we are. I came back here. Um, you'll see here is a coach, so if we go down one, or south I should say, um, there's a coachman here, if you tell him to take me, so we say, take me to Keenlan, please, um, he'll basically say, are you sure, he type yes, and he'll take you to Keenlan, and then you're in the, the real proper world, um, I'd recommend not doing that straight away, I'd recommend just killing saplings still, um, getting yourself up to about maybe level 9 or 10, um, just because it can still be a little bit hard once you get into the new world if you're only still level 4 or 3 or something. Um, so if you need to log out after you've got that, you can come up into here. This is the inn. And if we go up, so you'll see there's east, south, and up. We go up, we're into here, and you'll see there's an innkeeper. Um, innkeepers around the world is basically where you can rent, um, which logs you off and saves all your items. So if we type offer, he'll tell us, like he'll give us an offer basically. Um, so he's saying, yep, your rent allowance is currently one gold crown and four coppers. Um, as you gain levels, you'll have a higher rent allowance. Um, so like say a level 30 you might have a rent allowance of 14 crowns or something of gear that they can store. So in this case, our rent is free. So to rent and log off, we just type rent. And lost connection, we're logged off. Let me see, 
Yep, Innkeeper stores your belongings, helps you into a private chamber. So that's basically just how to get to level 3, get some stats, and uh, start the game. Um, there's more stuff you've got to worry about, like once you actually start playing for longer periods of time. Um, things like eating food and drinking water. Um, I'll go into more of them in, a, in another tutorial. I might get this character to maybe level 5 or 6 and then um, go from there and teach you more about eating and drinking, etc.